Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. My name is Lauren and I am a part-time seller on the Poshmark app. If you guys wanna shop my closet, I always have a link down below in the description box for you guys, as well as right here on the screen. It's at Lolo's Boutique. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you all a collective little thrifting haul to resell on the Poshmark app. As always, if you guys see anything in this video that you like, please feel free to leave your closet name down below and I will tag you when it's listed. If you guys enjoy this, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys can do that by clicking the little red subscribe button right down below. And without further ado, let's jump into this because haul videos sometimes take a little bit of time. All right, so I have literally a huge basket full of stuff next to me, another bin behind me, some shoes, and then I have a whole stack of clothes right here as well. So let's go through the stack of clothes first and then I'll jump into everything on this side. The first thing is a really cute find that I found. It is a like vintage Tommy Hilfiger denim dress. And this is a size eight, um, a very like average medium size. It's got a really cute Tommy logo on the pocket and the Tommy tag. And then on the back, it also has that detail. This is just a really cute like mini dress and it's got buttons that go all the way down. I think this is really cute. It's very like fitting and trendy. So of course I had to get it. Next is a very staple closet piece and it's just a black pea coat. This is from Gap. It has some really nice large pockets here in the front and then buttons going up. Just a nice collar, um, long sleeves, nothing crazy, but it's definitely a good closet staple and a piece that I feel like a lot of people are looking for. And it is also a size small. Next up is a new with tags jacket from Loft. It is a size extra large and it was originally $90. And I think this is so cute. It's like a moto style jacket, long sleeves, a very small herringbone type of print. And then it's got this really cute like zipper with the different flap styles. You can do it buttoned up if you like or open, I think it looks cute both ways and it covers it behind so it's not just like open unless you want it to be. Um, or you could pin that back or pin that back, doesn't matter, lots of different little styles and ways to wear it. Just thought it was really cute, would be good as like a business casual piece. Next is an oversized flannel. I feel like these are just good for winter. Um, you can layer them, you can wear them with leggings, they're really cute and casual. This one is by Croft and Barrow. It is just a navy and some gray and cream um, plaid pattern. And again, just a very simple average <laughs> button down flannel, but these are great to wear oversized. This one is a men's medium. So I would say this is like, would fit a medium or a large, even depending on how loose you would want it. I love this next piece, you guys. It is a vintage jacket from Old Navy, actually. Um, so it buttons up all the way down. The buttons are all there, don't worry. But it's a corduroy jacket and it's so cute. I love this trend. It's got this fleece lined collar and the whole inside is fleece lined except for the inside of the sleeves, which are actually this kind of puffer down type of material and it's just black. Um, so this will definitely keep you warm in the winter time, not to mention cute because I mean, literally just look at that. It's so adorable. It has pockets um, in the front, the function, as well as some pockets up here. They're also real. I just thought this was really cute and I wish it was my size because I would wear it all the time. Actually, I probably could wear it, but still. Um, this is marked as an extra large, but I would say it's more of a large. Um, it's like a little bit smaller, but if you want measurements, let me know because I can get them for you. Next up is an Alice and Olivia dress, which I was so excited to find in the store. I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. It is a black with, it's like a black netted lace almost with this white kind of applique detailing on top. It's like knit. And then the bottom has scallops and then there's just a black um, liner on the inside. And then the back is what is so pretty on this. It does have a high neckline. So then the whole back is open with again, the scallop detailing. And then it has a zipper as well. This is just so flattering and beautiful. This is also a size four, I wanna say. Yeah, this is a size four, just a really pretty piece. And I think it would be great for the holiday time as well if you have holiday parties or even to wear to work. Next is a piece by Two by Vince Camuto. Um, this is a really pretty top, I thought. It has opaque 
black sleeves and these are like three quarter length sleeves and then the whole main part of the top is actually very sheer so you'd have to wear something under it but I thought that kind of added a fun detail to it it's like all of a mesh um, I don't even know what this type of material is but it is sheer and then there's a little bit of a floral detailing on them and the flowers are like a purpley cream color it does have a scoop neck and then it does have so it has like a black panel across the bottom and then on the back the black panel has a slit in it so I thought that was a fun detail to add on there and I think it's really cute last piece that's on a hanger is this gore just cabby coat this is the new label cabby the one that's in a uh, square it's a red and pink tweed style jacket it's got a beautiful big collar and then it does have these snap closures there we go snap closures and then the sleeves are just plain and then it's pretty long um, I would say like definitely would go towards your hips and then it does have pockets on the front as well I just think this is gorgeous. It's a small and I think this is such a cute jacket for winter. Also, the Vince Camuto shirt was a size small as well. Alrighty, moving on. I have a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Soul Society. Guys, look how cute these are. These are such adorable little booties. They have a wood style um, chunky block heel and then they have a slightly pointed toe. But what they have is a gorgeous cut on the side literally both sides up the heel this is a super unique style which is why i loved it so much and then it's got some really great kind of threading detailing that goes across the top and around the side and back of the shoe and then of course it has like a little pool to help pull the shoes on these are a size six so i thought these were really pretty just kind of like a tan suede material Loved these, literally wish these were in my size because I would wear them every day. Next, I have a Free People piece. And this is kind of an interesting fun piece. Um, it's a size small. So it has like these spaghetti style straps, but it's kind of like a cold shoulder detailing. And then the sleeves, there is a hole for the arms and then the rest is kind of sewn down the side. Um, but it's just this beautiful knit open front. And then the back is another different style of knit. And then you can see it's just got like lots of different style knitting and crochet detailing. And like, I think, I think it's just really pretty and boho. It's got these big, beautiful, like billowy sleeves. And I could just imagine wearing this and like on a vacation or layer it with some cute sweaters and some skinny jeans in the fall and winter time. I just thought this was a really pretty piece, so of course I had to get it. Next is a new with tags stitch fix item, and the brand is THML, which I've never heard of before, and this is an extra small dress. It's got some really pretty embroidery detailing up here on the collar and the sleeves. Just really, really nice, kind of feels very thick quality and then just goes into a blue almost um, just a very lightweight material it does have a second lining underneath it so it's not sheer or anything like that and that has kind of the higher neckline in the back and the front with a little bit of a v cut next are two pairs of lululemon leggings you guys may have seen this in one of my thrifting vlogs that I did, or I think it was maybe it was a day in the life of a reseller, I don't know. Um, but these are some really cute Lululemon leggings. The first pair are these, they have a black band with this green pattern with kind of some black um, little dots on them. These I thought were really unique because on the side they have a little zipper pocket and then they've got a lot of detailing as far as the stitching goes on the side as you can see up here. And then they are cropped and the back of the leg looks like this. It's kind of got a little tulip style detail to it. I thought these are really adorable. And I wanna say these are a size four. No, sorry, these are a size six. Super cute. And this is the back. They've got the logo up on the waistband. And then I found another pair of Lululemon leggings. Again, this has the logo on the back of the waistband. This is in the flower bunga print. So it's like a black and white floral. And these are like the three quarter crop. So they're like in between your knee and your ankle. And these just feel really good. I want to say these ones were a size four. Yeah, so these are size four. They do have a little pocket detailing right here on the band of the pants. 
just really cute, like fun pattern Lululemon leggings. So had to grab them, of course. Next is a pair of jeans from American Eagle. I thought these are a really great wash. They look like they've never been worn before. They are a size zero, I want to say. Yes, they are size zero and they are the slim boot stretch. So the back looks like this. Again, they're in great condition, a single button on the front. And then they are a slim boot. So they have a slightly boot cut to them, um, but they are slim, so it's not crazy. I just thought these were great jeans that would be um, a very good staple in someone's closet. They're great, con like great quality and I think American Eagle jeans do relatively well on Poshmark, so I grabbed a pair. Next is a brand new bathing suit, and it was new with tags, but I accidentally ripped the tags off while I was photographing them. So technically it doesn't have the tags um, attached to them. But this is a Rachel, Rachel, Rachel by Rachel Roy bathing suit. And it is a one piece. It has adjustable straps, a really cute little tie top. And then as you can see, it does have a cutout on the stomach and the back. And then it has kind of a, that, um, I guess kind of like a high rise style on the leg. Again, these are never worn, so they still have the sticker on the bottom and then the back ties as well and again very open i just think this is a really pretty pattern as well and just a really cute bathing suit overall so of course i still got it next is a brand that i have heard a couple of people and resellers mention so i thought i would pick it up to see how it would do and this is by the brand kalia which is a carrie underwood athletic line and this is a light pink workout top I just thought this felt really nice. Like the, the fabric feels great. It's really, really soft. And it's got like a breathable workout material in the middle. And then the sides have some really pretty mesh detailing. And then on the back, they kind of have that tulip style detail as well to them as well. That sounded really Southern as well. And then the sleeves also have the same mesh on them. And this is a size medium. And then it's got the little logo on the back. This is the logo that looks kind of like the Poshmark logo. So I thought this would be really cute. Next, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this piece before in a haul or not, but I've had it for some time. I've been figuring out how I want to style it and photograph it for Poshmark, but it's actually what looks like a vintage Vineyard Vines purple sweater so it's like a cardigan and it's purple it's long sleeve i spent a long time like depilling this so it looked really good condition it's a size large i think i just need to do some more work on this but it's 100 percent lamb's wool so it's a really nice fabric and then it's got a little navy whale on it and here's the back i don't know i just i don't know how it'll do because it's such a different type of color but I also feel like the same type of people who buy vineyard vines would like this type of color. So we'll see. My next piece is a sweater by the brand Pole, which is P-O-L. It looked like a brand that boutiques purchase for wholesale, but it is really, really cute. It's got kind of a faux collar and it is the Chanel, Chanel, however you pronounce that fabric and it's this cream color which this type of fabric is super popular right now very trendy for the winter time and it also has this lace up detailing in the front with just some like big um strings i don't know they're kind of thick a thicker band and it's just got long sleeves and it's like got a slight crop to it but not really and i do have it already listed to the measurement i believe i did list because i knew people would really want to know that but then it's got kind of a little band down here this is just a super comfy looking sweater and it feels super soft and this was a size medium all right next is a brand called faith and joy los angeles this is a plus size item it's a 1x and sorry it's a little wrinkly because it's been sitting in my inventory but it's a tank top style blouse with kind of these blue and white pinstripes detailing to them. I just thought this was a really pretty basic. The fabric feels really nice. It's kind of like heavyweight um, and just feels really good. Yeah, it's got a really pretty little v-neck detailing to it. And then there's kind of like a pleat that goes down the front, as you can see, like right here. I thought it was just a cute basic and plus sizes apparently do really well on Poshmark. So I've been trying to pick some up as well. Next is just a little basic sweater that I thought would be really cute to have. I love the color of this. It's by the brand Coco and Jameson. If you know where that's from, please let me know down below because 
I searched it and didn't really have much luck finding anything about it. And this is a size medium sweater. It is just red, kind of a basic, got like three quarter length sleeves, a slightly high low detail with some slits on the side. This is just like a soft material sweater. I thought it would be really cute, like pretty color. So I grabbed that as well. Next is a top by Maeve, which is sold at Anthropology. This is a size medium. It's this really pretty kind of purpley plum blouse. It's got a ruffle detailing on the bottom, buttons that go all the way up. It's kind of like a peasant style, which I thought would be really cute. And then it's got little sleeves that also button up. So I thought that was pretty. Next is a sweater by Gap. This just looked really comfortable. So of course I got it as well. Again, this is a medium. It's a v-neck and then it's just gray with kind of these lines detailing on them. The lines aren't on the sleeve. Some little uh, cuffs on the end. Just looked like kind of oversized and comfy and casual and just really cute for again fall and winter. I mean, you really can't go wrong with sweaters. Literally, do you guys see like the piles of clothes adding up behind me now? Next is another sweater surprise. Um, this one was kind of a learning mistake and I have another item in this little bin here that I'm gonna kind of talk about. I am still a very brand new Poshmark seller, so I am still learning brands and what what is sold where and what things are popular in Poshmark. And I feel like I have a pretty good sense of style and I do know a lot of brands already just because I enjoy shopping and all that kind of good stuff. But sometimes I pick up things like this. I thought this is a really stinking cute sweater and had some fun distressing on it. Um, it does have slits on the bottom, on the side a little bit, and it just looked really cute. It's a size medium, but the brand is Moral Fiber. And I was like, oh, that sounds familiar. It's actually sold at Walmart, so kind of sucks, but I'm sure this sweater was sold for like probably anywhere between $15 and $20, so I'll probably just list it kind of low on my shop. I probably won't make a good profit on it, but I don't know. Like, you know, like I said, it's a learning thing. It's a learning curve, and I'm okay with that. I thought this was a cute style, so maybe someone will really enjoy it, um, but again, I'm learning as well, you guys. <laughs> Next piece is by the brand velvet by graham and spencer and this is a size medium blouse it is a red and white gingham printed little blouse really girly and cute it has long or three-quarter length sleeves with a little ruffle on the end and then the hem as well has the little ruffle detailing to it and then on the back there is a little keyhole with a button just a really pretty blouse here is my other mistake when thrifting this is by the brand Knox Rose, and I, for the life of me, couldn't remember where that came from, and it was Target. So do your research if you're confused about a brand while you're out thrifting. That is one of my biggest suggestions. It's still a really cute top, and it is plus size, so it might do well. I don't know. It is a 1X, though, and it's just kind of a green peasant-style blouse again. This is a very flouncy, kind of flowy material, and it does have buttons going down the front and then kind of some smocking on the back so it's a stretchier fabric and then it does have the kind of um, pinched in sleeves down at the end. Next piece is again a sweater. This is actually by Zara and this is from the Zara Knit Collection. It is a size medium. It is a super bright cropped yellow sweater. Just a simple basic knit. It does have long sleeves and I thought this was just like a fun bright colored basic. I kind of stick to a lot of neutrals so I decided to kind of get a pop of color in there. Moving on to my last little bin. First is a pair of shoes again and I have one because the other one's over there hiding. But this is a pair of Sam Edelman flats. It has really cute little scallop detailing around the top and then on the side of the heel it has kind of um, this stitching that's the SE Little Sam Edelman emblem. Thought these are really cute. They're like a black suede type of material and they're just a classic cute shoe and Sam Edelman tends to do really well on Poshmark too. And these are a size seven. So this next shoe, I was kind of unsure whether or not to get. It is a size eight and a half by the brand hinge i thought they were really cute and trendy so i still grabbed them it does have a higher block sort of chunky heel and then it's open-toed with this kind of suede style 
um, strap detailing. So it goes down the front and then on the side it looks like this and it zips up in the back. I thought these were really cute. If you're like going out or you want to kind of dress up your jeans in a cute sweater, this could be really adorable. I love this next piece. This is by a brand I haven't heard before either. It's called just Very, V-E-R-Y, and it's a size medium. It's this gorgeous rust colored sweater top. So it's got kind of those dolman type of bat wing sleeves that are just, there's like no structure to them, except for it does have a little cuff at the end. Kind of has a mock um, neckline or like turtleneck. And again, just love this color. It's a super flouncy kind of heavier material. So it feels really nice. So I love, love, love this. I like would wear this and keep it for myself, but I'm not gonna do that. But it's super soft and again, just a really good sweater for winter like all my other items because you really can't go wrong with sweaters next is a dress and again i had never heard of this brand so it still has some little tags on it because i need to photograph it but it's by the brand lumiere or lumiere or something of that sort it's a size small love 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 this thing first off okay it is a tank top with a deep v-neck just look at the colors on this guys it's gorgeous it ties in the front with a little cut out here uh, i just think this is super flattering on like every style person and then it goes down and it's kind of like a midi style dress it's like right between your knees and your ankles but it's got a gorgeous ruffle on it and just a long skirt like this is so pretty you guys and it has a zipper on the back i could just imagine wearing this like on such a like a date or like going dancing or like out to a nice dinner i just love that dress next is another sweater are we surprised no this one's by the brand vestique which is a boutique it's a size small uh, it has a v-neck and it's just this dark red color just a very simple basic sweater next i have a pair of denim overall shorts and this is by the brand bullhead i don't think i have showed you guys this um bullhead is just like a mall brand but this is so freaking cute it's got a little pocket on the top and then it's just these little denim booty shorts and it's got little buttons on the side and some real pockets I thought this was so cute and I feel like overalls are still really trendy. Granted, it's cold in a lot of places, but you know, California people where it's still warm, like they might want this, you know? Next is a top and this has not been photographed either, so it's still a little wrinkly. It's by the brand Thread and Supply and it's a size small. This reminds me of a dress I sold on my shop, literally the exact same style, except for it was a dress and not a shirt. But this one is a collared short sleeve, kind of tan linen-y color with some pink and blue and yellow stripes going down it. This is just really fun. I feel like this would be a great cover up for the beach. The sleeves are kind of cuffed and rolled, giving it kind of a fun look to it as well. I just think this is really cute and girly and fun. How many times can I say fun? Literally someone on one of my last hauls was like, take a shot every time you say, detail or cute or something and I died laughing because she was like you wouldn't want to do that because you'd actually die from drinking so much because I need to learn new words on to the next item <laughs> this is a really cute kind of unique style dress again this is more summery but I feel like you could make it wintery if you wanted to it's by the brand end cream which I think is again um, a boutique brand because I've had a sweater from there before as well and this is a size small so again it's a tank top kind of higher neckline denim dress and it's got a really pretty kind of tiered ruffles on the bottom and then I just love the back. The back just has this racer back style that dips a little lower, so it's really cute and feminine. It's just got really pretty, really pretty design on it. So of course, I got it. And last, but certainly not least, I have a pair of shoes. These are by the brand Saludos. So you can see they are pretty stinking adorable. They've got a blue and white striped. Uh, cloth pattern on them and then they've got a really cute little sole which is like a little bit thicker so it looks super comfy and these are a size seven alrighty guys that brings us to the end of this haul like I mentioned if you guys saw anything that you like and you want from my shop please feel free to leave your shop name down below and I will tag you in the item once it's listed if it's not 
already. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed seeing this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You guys can do that by clicking the little red subscribe button right down below. You can also click that little bell if you want to get notified every time I post a new video. I do that for my favorite reseller and Poshmark YouTubers because and I love watching their content. So of course, I do that for them and you guys should do that too if you want to see more of my videos. If you guys have any Poshmark related questions, please feel free to leave them down below in the comments as well. I want to do an entire Q&A Poshmark related video for you guys because I've gotten a couple of questions on my Instagram, which is also linked down below in my description box if you guys want to go and follow me there. And I've also gotten a couple of different questions on my Poshmark page and just on my YouTube videos. So if you have questions, leave them down below. I want to make an entire Poshmark related Q&A video super soon. Alrighty guys, that is going to bring us to the end of this video though. I know it's been super long and if you've stuck around this long, you are awesome and I love you and I appreciate you and you're so cool. We can be PFFs, Posh friends forever. But without further ado, guys, that's going to bring us to the end. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.